So Easter is over. Or is it? If you look at the church calendar, the season of Easter lasts for eight more weeks. Resurrection Sunday is not the completion of Easter. It's the beginning of Easter. The season of resurrection continues until the day of Pentecost. On that day, the Holy Spirit fell on the disciples like tongues of flame, and they were filled with power and spoke in many languages. If you look closely, you'll see that this was a reversal of the confusion that began with humanity's pride at the Tower of Babylon. It was a day of wonder and power. But what now? What happens between the resurrection and the day of Pentecost? Almost every devotional I own seems to focus this season on prayer. Prayer is a frontline defense, not a last-ditch effort. Anyone who really wants to develop a meaningful spiritual life must be willing to develop some discipline in the faith. In fact, the most important component in developing a positive and well-grounded faith is the nurturing of a strong prayer life. We're encouraged in 1 Thessalonians to pray continually. This is a perfect time to nurture our prayer life. Stop what you're doing right now and take a moment to invite God to direct you in prayer and allow God to guide you as he wants to. What we call the Lord's Prayer is Jesus' example of how to pray. Over the next few days or weeks, I'm going to use this form to break down the Lord's Prayer and hopefully we will all come to know God better. May he bless you powerfully today.